again, time for a product review. First one I've done in a long, long time, actually, probably about, well, definitely more than a year. Anyway, this time I'll be looking at the iPhone video recorder. Now, when the iPhone was first released, I made a video lamenting the lack of a native video recording application. And as any sane person will agree, that was a really stupid omission by, on Apple's behalf. Luckily, some enterprising little code monkey out there created an iPhone video recorder app for those of us with jailbroken iPhones, uh, which let us install third-party software like this. All the footage you're seeing in this video was taken with the trial version of the iPhone video recorder, which limits you to just 30 recordings of up to 30 seconds each, and puts some uh, overlay text on all your videos as well. The iPhone video recorder allows you to record video in the MP4 video format at a frame rate of up to 15 frames per second at a default resolution of 320 by 240 which makes it pretty usable for YouTube videos. And it's the only option for the iPhone at the moment that records both video and audio. And speaking of YouTube, the application allows you to upload your recorded videos directly to YouTube from its own interface, which is a nice touch. As you can see, the image quality isn't earth-shattering, but it's reasonable, and you really can't expect a video taken with a phone to measure up to something from a dedicated video camera device anyway. I consider this a backup option for capturing more spontaneous moments. After all, you're not always going to be carrying around the bulk of a dedicated video camera all the time anyway, but you do always have your mobile phone with you, <laughs> or at least I do. Now, with every recording I made, the audio did seem to drop out very briefly at about three seconds in, but after that, it worked fine. The sound quality is adequate, but not great. About the same as audio recorded with most other mobile phone video recorders. I suppose there's only so much sound quality to be squeezed out of a microphone designed for making phone calls anyway, so I really can't fault it too much for that. One slight annoyance is that after recording a video clip, the application has to then process and convert the capture into a usable MP4 video file, which takes some time. You can choose to delay this processing until later, so you're not sitting there waiting for it while you could be shooting more video, but this little inconvenience is there for a good reason. Because encoding video on the fly is pretty processor intensive, it can uh, adversely affect the frame rate and quality of the video. So by leaving the step to later, it allows this application uh, to give you a much better looking end product. So I can live with that. The full version, without all the trial limitations, will cost you $20 US, which, in my opinion, is probably just a bit much. Um, I'm sure there's been a lot of hard work gone into producing this application, and it is the best option out there at the moment for recording video with your iPhone, but it's pretty basic feature-wise. I think I'd be much more eager to throw $10 at it, or maybe even $15. It is under active development, and it's improving with every release, so I look forward to seeing some more refinement and extra features because once Apple released the iPhone software version 2.0 and the iTunes application store, um, I'm sure there'll be much more competition out there for this product, which should prove a decent incentive to polish this up nicely. The voiceover for this video was recorded with iPhone Recorder, an audio recording application from Dreamcatcher, the same company that made the video recorder. I figured I'd try both their uh, products at once. So aside from the editing, this video was made entirely on my iPhone, which makes me smile. Um, I'm just hoping that when the app, iTunes application store does go live and you get uh, more official applications where you can buy directly through Apple themselves, that someone out there will make a video editing application for my iPhone. That way I can produce a video entirely on my iPhone on the go when I'm on the road, and that's going to be pretty fun. Anyway, so all up, I was reasonably impressed with it. Catch you next time.